welcome back to another video. Um, today, I will be giving my honest review and opinion of Nintendo's Game Builder Garage. And, um, it is a lot of fun. Like, um, you can watch me do the live streams and I did all of the, like, tutorials and all the puzzles and everything. Um, the last, uh, second to last one, I know the third to last one I think it was. Uh, I had to uh, of the puzzle ones I had to cheat on because um, I got all but the last one done correctly and I couldn't figure out which one the last one was so I had to do the last one so I just looked up um, how to do it um, but I gave it a good try like I tried for a good long while to do it did I Luna? yes yes you did you gave it your very best effort anyway um, so, um, honestly it is a lot of fun to just like go through each one and learn uh, the ins and outs of uh, making a game and game builder garage and um, I would definitely suggest this if you're the kind of person that likes um, like RPG maker um, because you can add your own custom textures and uh, um, hello, and uh, all that, and uh, I don't know um, if you could make an RPG in it like Pokemon, I might uh, try recreating like um, a bit of Pokemon um, at some point, but I, um, my current plan is to re recreate World 1-1 one, one from Mario, uh, Super Mario Bros. 1 first, and then Maybe see where I get where I move on to. Maybe I'm gonna try uh, to do Pilot Town Route One and what was the name? It's... No, it's not. It's not Viridian City, is it? Because isn't Viridian City the one that rocks in? I don't know. We well, know. Was that the one that Misty's in? I don't know. Anyway, I don't know. I, I don't know the names of the towns off my, off my head, so I might do just like that bit. Uh, you know, Pallet Town, Route 1, the city that, uh, the town that uh, Giovanni's gym is in, and maybe try to like get random encounters working or something. I don't know. Um, anyway, could you not? Could you not? So now I must. Mm, crazy little puppets. Anyway, um, so uh, you, but you may be thinking, oh well, this all this is all well and good if you want to make a game, but what about somebody who doesn't want to make a game? Well, um, Game Builder Garage allows you to upload your level, your worlds, and you can even your games, and you can even like add levels and everything, and it's really cool. And you know, you can upload your games. And then you get a code to share. And now people who even haven't made any games can play the, ga the games that you make. Or if you're not interested in making games, you can just play games that other people have made. Um, uh, let me just get some up here. Because um, if you look down in the description, there's two links. The first link is to the Nintendo Switch for it. Discord, which is, you know, this channel's Discord, you know, it's all about this channel and there's, like, memes and other stuff. Um, on there I've got, like, some Game Builder Garage, um, stuff that I've been sharing. And below that is a, is a Perfect Chaos, which is, um, something different, but yeah, uh, Nintendo Live, um, made a video about like different games that have been made in Game Builder Garage Game Builder Garage. So there's like uh, GTA 5 Garage Edition which is based off uh, GTA 1 and 2 with the top down perspective. Sonic 3D 2.0 Doom Eternal Garage Teaser Super Hot Garage Wario Wear Metroid um, there's also like Zelda 1 but in first person, uh, Excite Bike, 
and Earthbound have all been recreated, have all been made in Game Builder Garage. At least uh, parts of them have been like they're not; those are all done by one guy in like a day. So maybe they're not. It's not the entire game, but this is like um, parts of games so far. So um, even if you're not going to make a game, um, you uh, can always just like. Download and play games that other people have made. And bearing in mind, this is only like uh, I think it was like twenty quid if you buy it digitally, and it, uh, but I believe it's like fifty quid physically. Let me check. Game build build a garage. Uh, yes, yeah, so if you want to get it physically, it's thirty four. Oh no, it, yeah, it's only like thirty four quid, right? Thirty four forty four quid right now on Amazon, uh, with four pounds one p delivery down from thirty six ninety nine. So about thirty seven quid, with for so like forty one quid in total, for physically and digitally it's twenty six ninety nine. So yeah, it's not super expensive and. Um, bearing in mind that, uh, that um, from this one game you essentially have uh, a near infinite amount of games that you could download and play and, I, and there's even like a game builder garage um, discord with game ids that people have just been sharing and making. So let me just see. Um, preview of the actual UI. So you know. Um, new demo of a new project that me, Chunky, and Screen are going to be working on. It's set more of a engine tech demo, but for now you can see how it works. So let's be GBGA. Uh, so next GBA adventure was shared on here. Uh, Flappy Bird plus custom sprites. Um. Wario Operation 2D Toad Race for Bus Remastered So there's like a bunch of stuff being shown here um, Teeny Town uh, Teeny Toon Town Diorama Free Mini Areas to Walk Around In So it's like okay. uh, Among Us it's not really among us, it's just a platformer. Uh, stick with him, tech demo. Nerf Remnant of Spring Trap. So, yeah, it's just like getting a lot of people into like the universe. And I've um, even seen like um, Sakurai himself, the creator of. KB Smash Bros and basically your childhood at this point and a man who seems to never age while also making the Smash Bros DLC he has been making his own game in Game Builder Garage and now he's not released a code for it or anything yet so maybe that might be something he does in the future but uh, I'm really excited to see if like actual proper game developers um, you know, start developing games for Game Builder Garage. Um, the the only problem I could see with that is that um, you know, if you try to charge for it, you'd have to send out a code. But then that one code that one, that one person you that person could just like publish it online, and then everybody would have the game for free. So it's just like unless you like. I don't know, charged for it, but then have have like t terms and conditions that they have to agree to. It's like, 
I will not publish this code online so people can download it. Um, yeah, without paying for it, and but then again, it'd be a bit hard to find the person and uh, prosecute them for breaking terms of service or something. I don't know. Maybe somebody smarter than me can work out. And there's probably a lot of people in this world that are smarter than me um, who could figure it out. But uh, I don't know. Um, but oh, that would be uh, cool. Like um, something Nintendo could do is like. Add a feature that, um, so yeah, that, that, while I'm at, well, while I'm at, we might as well move on to like stuff that I think could be added. So, like, add a um, feature to where you can share it online, but um, you generate, you know, like codes with like custom settings. So, it's like you could have a code that uh, has infinite uses and lasts forever, or you could have a code that has a finite amount of uses and only lasts for X amount of time uh, before it can no longer be re redeemed. Something like that maybe. Um, also something that I thought would be uh, cool, it would be nice for them to do is, um, so what you can do in Game Builder Guys is you can click, release, you know, click and then click and hold a, a second time and then drag and then you can select an area. And it, uh, you can like copy, you can paste you know the node ons in that area, move all the node ons. It would be cool if you could save um, them. So it's just like uh, you selected the area, and then you could like save and just like save as was like uh, save it as enemy one or something or you know something like that. So like if you have like certain like node on setups you want to save for later. Then it would be saved onto your profile, and then you could like, um, um, you know, close that game, go into another game, and paste that node on set of itself, or um, you know, like turn the switch off, turn it off, back on, go back in, and then it would still be there. You know, it would be there until like you overwrote it. That would be cool and very helpful, um, or at least like some way of um, copying a node on set from one game to another. Um, would be cool. And um, what else? Uh, oh yeah, something I think they really should do, and the, the, uh, they're probably not going to do this, but I think they really should do it because it will be really good for the community around Game Builder Garage and just for these games in general. But release the Nintendo themed DLC. So like sound. Uh, Files was so like uh, for Mario. So say they released Mario DLC for it. You'd like get Mario models. You get like Mario, Peach, um, Luigi, Toadette, Toad, uh, and it's like all the different colors of Toads. And it's like or uh, Goomba. You, know, you get all the different versions. You get all of the Mario characters. All of the different versions of them. So you get three D versions of them. You get two D versions of them. And it's like you get the Mario like. 3D world, you know, it'd be like Mario Mickey, you get all the different, like, uh, types of Mario characters, and they would even have, I could even have its own sections, and like, uh, objects, like, objects, Mario ca characters, and then you click that, and it's like, uh, main characters, or, and then you'd have, like, enemies, or you could even, like, search, or you could even organise it by, like, um, go into Mario, um, 3D Mario, um, Mario 1, Mario 2, Mario 3, um, 3D World, Mario 64, um, I think that would be really cool, and, uh, um, you know, having the sound effects, and it's like, you go into, like, um, the sound effect node on, it's like, Mario sound effects, and you could, like, use, like, all the different sound effects from, like, the different games that you go into Mario, and it's like, uh, you know, have all the different sound effects from the different games, like, like Galaxy, Galaxy 2, 64, 1, 2, and 3, um, New Super Mario Bros. New New Super Mario Bros. Uh, new Super Mario Bros. DS. New Super Wii. New Soup Two. New Soup U. You know, and then you could do that for all of the Nintendo. Uh, you, you could, and you could if you if you charge like five quid for this, and um, I don't know if that's like five ten quid. I bet a lot of people would pay for this. Um, 
So it could be a really good money maker. But uh, then you could also extend it to Zelda. You could have all the Zelda models, sprites, and textures. And oh yeah, and like have custom textures. So it's just like you go into the texture node, and then it'd be like a Mario thing in the corner, and you click the Mario thing, and then you have just like a list of like uh, textures from different Mario games you could uh, use or something. You know. Um, and then you could do that for Zelda, then you could also do it for Pokemon, then you could do it for Metroid, you could do it for Animal Crossing, you could do it for, um, well, um, F-Zero, like, I could do it for Kirby, um, and I just think, um, that would, and oh, I also think they should add, like, Expand um, the, the amount what nodons are in the game, you know, just add more nodons, obviously. And I think um, there's definitely like um, more. I can't think of any off the top of my head, but there's definitely probably more nodons that you could add into the game to make it more complex and um, in increase the amount of possibilities uh, that. Um, there is in the game. Um, what else? Um, hmm. Uh, I think that's just my thing I can think of. Um, so yeah, I would definitely suggest getting this game if you are planning on making a game or if you just want to play games. Like it's good for both and. Um, yeah. Uh, what else? Um, yeah, as, yeah. And I really do hope that Nintendo does continue to support this and add, the, like, even if it's paid DLC, just add more to the game so people can do more, more easily, and just, I hope they keep on just, like, increasing the amount of things that you can do with the game. And I hope that, and I really think this could be really good because Nintendo... If you've been living under several rocks for the past few years, um, Nintendo isn't the kindest to fan games. Like, if they see a fan game, there's a good chance that it's going to get a uh, copyright struck. But um, with this, they're probably most likely not going to strike down any fan games. It's like, well, it's on our platform. And it's on a game on our platform that we are making money from. So, sure, why not? Make yourself your own Mario fan game. Make yourself your own Pokemon fan game. And I hope they do that with this. They just, and I hope they, like, make, like, support the fan base systems. Like, hey, we want you to make your own fan games in this. We want you to make your Pokemon fan game. We want you to make your Mario fan game. So, here's uh, Pokemon and Mario and Metroid... Uh, uh, textures, models, and resources to do that with. And uh, this could probably be probably the most pro consumer move any video game company has done. Like, you will probably never see Sony or Microsoft just give their players the resources to make their own. Um, what exclusives do Sony and Microsoft have? Do and not do. Um, Master Chief. What's this game? Halo. Make their own Halos or their own God of Wars. Um, and you even I like, saw this with Dreams. Like um, Dreams is basically Sony's Game Builder Garage, but it came out before Game Builder Garage, so you could say Game Builder Garage is Nintendo's Dreams. But it just really doesn't matter because it's because. Um, RPG Maker is the same essential idea, except that we allowed you to make RPGs, and I came out before both of them. But anyway, um, and in that, they didn't give you official resources to make your own God of War or anything. So um, I think this would be really good for Nintendo to just be like, here you go, here's the resources, go and make your fan games. We want to support you uh, in making fan games, and that. Uh, I honestly think this is probably the best chance we'll ever get of them actually doing this because 
like I said, the doing this will actually make them money because they they are charging for Game Builder Garage, and then if they charge also for like um, the uh, assets for Pokemon and like King of Earth licensing, just like um, because it's like. Um, if you buy the um, the packs for these games, you that now will now have the license to make your own game in that universe, non-canonical game in that universe. Um, they're going to even make Mario and Rabbit's Kingdom Battle um, sets, and it's like they could just arms as well. They could let people make their own arms games, and I think. This could honestly be, um, if Nintendo played the cards right, I honestly think this could be just about the most pro-consumer, best game that any of the big three have ever released. And I honestly hope that Nintendo does do this, because it would just be amazing for the fan bases of all the games and for Game Builder Garage. Because people, well, because if they do this, so people are going to say, oh, it's just Nintendo telling people to make their own games. It's like, it'll turn from that to like, oh, wow, now Game Builder Garage is how Nintendo plans to officially support um, indie developers and the fan games. Okay. And I honestly think that, you know, um, is this a good idea? Um, I, I honestly hope, like, if people are making their own, wanted, if you want to make your own Mario or Pokemon or whatever fan game, but you're afraid that you'll get taken down, making game build a garage is probably the safest way to make your fan game. Anyway, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.